Welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this makeup look. Uh, it's a Pride inspired makeup look. Um, I think Pride is lovely, and I think we have to support everything and everyone um, in whatever they want to be and whoever they want to be. Uh, that's why I support Pride for like the full hundred percent, and I wish all the people would do. That's why I made this makeup look. And if you want to know how I made this one, then carry on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is using the Superlux Perfect Primer. It's like this green color. I'm going to apply that on all of my spots and retinas on my face. So um, yeah, it won't show through the foundation that we're using. I'm just getting a little bit on my hand like this, shaking it a bit. Oh, that's way too much, but I always get too much when I'm applying this. I'm applying this with a foundation brush. I'm just putting that on the red bits of my face. Once that's in there, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute so the pigment will really get into my skin and that I won't blend it out once I put on my foundation. As foundation, I'm gonna use the PS Pro Longwear Mineralized Foundation. It's from Primark and like it's really cheap. Um, so it's not the best quality, but I shown really wear foundation um, so it's good enough for me so I'm gonna use that I'm gonna put that on my whole face for concealer I'm gonna use two different concealers I'm gonna use this one under my eye and it's the LA girl pro concealer in the color porcelain and I'm gonna use uh, this concealer from Maybelline and it's the instant anti-age effect in the color light and I'm gonna use this one on my spots and everywhere I feel like I need a little bit more support. So I'm gonna put this concealer under my eye in like a triangle shape. Okay, I'm probably looking really weird right now, but we're gonna blend all of this in using the Real Techniques mini sponge thing. I don't really know what it's called, but I'm gonna use that one to blend all of the concealer in. So to set everything in place, I'm using the PS Pro Longwear Mattifying Pressed Powder and just using it all over my face. The base is almost ready. I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer to coat my face and to make it look yeah, a little bit sharper. And to do that, I'm gonna use the Miss Body Tent Up Your World uh, Bronzer Powder. I think that's all right. So now we're gonna carry on with the actually eye look. Um, so I'm planning on doing two things. I'm planning on making like a rainbow eye on this side with the wing, and on this side I want to do the Ariana Grande uh, "No Tears Left to Cry" uh, album cover thing. Um, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but let's just try it. Bye, night, bye, yeah. Right now I'm in a state of mind I wanna be like all the time Okay, so I first of all want to um, make this eyelid white um, and I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk for that and I'm just going to draw over the eyelid and then the actually fun part of the video is gonna start because we're gonna use the Morphe 35B palette. I'm gonna start by using this color here, which is the white, and I'm just putting that on the Morphe M433 brush, which is this one, and I'm just going to start and put it into the, like the corner of my eye. Just put it in there, so just like that. And as you can see, their eyeshadows are so pigmented, and that's why I really love them because they're really not that expensive. This one was uh, 26 euros, if I'm right. But that's really not expensive. I'm gonna get the yellow shade in the palette, which is this one down here. And I'm actually gonna apply that like halfway, halfway through the eye like here. Um, you will see what I do. 
It's kind of hard to explain. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna get the orange shade, which is uh, this shade down here. Um, and we're gonna put that next to the yellow. So right now I'm gonna get the red shade in there, which is this shade. And um, I'm gonna try it in to blend that one in, in the corner of my eye. I know which purple I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this one uh, in the palette, which is a darker shade of purple, but I think it looks lovely. So right now we're done with the upper eyelid and I'm really liking how this is looking so far. Um, so we're gonna continue with uh, the under eye and I'm gonna use the same brush as I used just about a second ago. And yeah, we're gonna use the colors green and blue to do this. I'm first gonna start with using the blue and I need to decide which color I'm gonna pick. Okay, we're gonna go for the bright blue. And if this was the wrong choice, then it is. But we're gonna work with it right now. So I just got um, so I just got this color, which is like the brighter blue, and I'm gonna apply that on my lash line under here. So now I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna start here and go a little under the blue line with the green. I'm gonna use uh, this green right here. And, um, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna apply that next to and under the blue line. Okay, so I originally planned on doing a winged eyeliner, but I'm gonna leave it like this because I'm not sure if I want to do that right now. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna start with the other eye uh, first. And as I said, for the other eye, I want to do the Ariana Grande No Tears Left to Cry kind of like album cover, um, which is... I'm gonna show you in my Spotify, which is this. I don't know if you can see it, but um, she has like this rainbow going on here. And I want to try to recreate that. I don't know if I'm gonna succeed, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, we're gonna use the same dabbing technique as I used before. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this all the way to my hairline. Okay, so I finished off the rainbow on this eye um, off camera because it was just all the same and it's not interesting to watch. Um, so I did everything the same, I'm just using other colors. Right now I th I'm thinking I need to do something with the lashes. Um, yeah, I think I need to do something with the lashes. I'm gonna curl them right now and I'm gonna use the Miss Baby Roll Mascara. And I might put on some falsies, I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll have a look. So these are the eyes right now, I think I need some false lashes. I think I'm gonna use my Morphe ones because I've never used them because they are like a little outgoing. These is, are the Calabas black ones. Um, I'm gonna have a look if they like suit the look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use these ones. I'm gonna do them quickly off camera and we'll be right back. Okay, so I just got my eyelashes on and I'm loving this look right now. Um, it took me so long to do this, but still, I'm loving it right now. So I think we're gonna continue with the lips. I think I'm leaving the eyeliner out because I think I will ruin everything. Um, so we're not gonna do the eyeliner anymore. Uh, so we're just gonna move on to the lips. For the lips, I'm first gonna start with putting some concealer on my lips. And it may sound weird, but I'm using this trick. Um, because I want my lips to be really, yeah, down and not really bright and out there. Um, so that's why I'm using this one to make the colors, yeah, lighter. And I'm just blending that in with my finger. So just like this, and I'm gonna use the lip liner. I'm gonna use the PS Lip Liner Pencil in an unknown color, because the color isn't on the packaging. But I'm gonna line my lips with it. I think that I need some glows. So I'm gonna get the I Heart Makeup Dead by Chocolate palette and it has these lovely colors in it. We're gonna use this one which is called Bring Down Angels and it's, it is a highlighting color. And I'm get, just gonna use the mirror that's in here. And I'm gonna highlight this one my nose. 
um, and then we'll build it up on other places. I think this is it. This is the look I was going for. This is what I was planning on making. In this is what was in my head. Um, this is what I wanted to make. Yeah, I love. I absolutely love the look of it. I think it looks great, and I think that my technique is getting better. I I, I can see it. I can see that I'm. Yeah, doing this in a more professional way, which I love because I love doing makeup. I love doing like the outgoing looks. It takes time, it takes practice, but we're getting there. So if you like this video, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching once again. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can always do that by clicking the red button under the video here. If you want to stay notified whenever I post a video, just click on the little bell button down there and yeah, you will get notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!